All right guys, so today is day two of my 40 day fast. If you haven't heard about that, check out my last video. I am fasting for 40 days, only water. But last Friday, I decided to film a little treat for you guys. So I filmed this video last Friday, picking up girls with spirituality. And guys, spirituality is a whole nother level. I want you to think about what game is, okay? Game is really just a way to mimic true confidence. All right, it's a fake it till you make it type thing. You fake these things that true alpha males, whatever you want to call it, true confident people do, and then all of a sudden you start to become that type of person. It's this amazing thing, you're acting. Game is acting, but when you act enough, you start to actually become that person. And so enlightenment is just this true, 100% confidence. The external world doesn't bother you. You are truly, completely happy and it's the ultimate source of that confidence. So game is really just mimicking enlightenment. It's very funny. So when you get to this level, there's not even a need for game. There's no need to act. You just be, you just are, and girls are attracted to you. On a deeper level, everyone is the same thing. There are all these surface level things, the ego, the false self, that separate us, they differentiate us. But on a deep level, all humans are the same. And when girls can sense that, when girls can sense that you threw away all that surface level stuff and are speaking to them from the true you, well, they are so attracted to that. All of a sudden, there's no fear. You're being truly open and honest. She feels like she can feel herself just by talking to you. And it's just an entirely different level. When you can talk to girls about the meaning of life, man, Deep spiritual stuff, everyone can relate to that. You're talking to them at the core of their being. It's so much better than any surface level stuff. So a lot of you guys think, oh, Connor, this spiritual hippie, now he's just gonna meditate all day and not get any girls. Are you kidding me, dude? This makes everything in life better. I have had some of the most incredible experiences with girls now that I'm on this path. You can do some incredible things. Once you have all your insecurities completely gone, amazing things can happen. You can do that with a girl. A relationship where insecurities are completely thrown out the window, where honesty, true honesty, is 100% of the time, it's a whole nother level. Most people don't even think that's possible. Imagine you and a girl actually being 100% open and honest. Like you could tell her literally anything, anything, any thought in your mind, you could express that. There's absolutely no filter. Well, she basically becomes you. You guys become one. There's no separation. It's like your consciousness merges. And some incredible experiences can happen, especially intimate ones. Absolutely insane and mind-blowing. I want you to think about intimate experiences with girls without any sort of insecurity whatsoever. Usually when you're having a romantic moment with girls, you're wondering, oh man, am I doing it right? Is she liking it? Like blah, 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 blah. What if you actually connected with her on such a deep level that all of those disappeared? And it was just like you were with yourself, just a female extension of your consciousness. It is absolutely incredible. So that's why I made this video, man. I just want to show you that girls are into this stuff. Everyone is. This is what everyone is into. The ego is kind of covering this up, but this is the only thing that truly matters to everyone. True happiness. Who are we? Where did we come from? What is this? That's all that truly matters to people. Society has just covered that up. And so I just want to remind you guys of that. So enjoy the video. Me picking up girls with spirituality. What do you think the meaning of life is? Just to be happy, honestly. Yeah, exactly. So many people don't understand that. So like, no. how do you be happy? You do what makes your soul happy. As long as it doesn't hurt anyone else. Well, what makes your soul happy? Me? You don't want to do that on your video. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Whoa, it's some weird stuff? So this is the thing, there are so many societal constructs. It's this thing called the ego. We think that we're a culmination of our thoughts, our ideas, our behaviors, our past. Um, but that's just not. When you drop that, you can be completely non-judgmental. You'll realize that I'm the most non-judgmental person there is. You can't say anything that would like freak me out. It's impossible. Like this thing, that's the thing that most people don't understand is like they're afraid to have a conversation because there are all these insecurities, right? It's called courageous conversations. I actually yeah. teach training on it. So. Courageous conversations. Yeah, Renee Brown. Fucking That's interesting. Hell yeah. I just call them ego-lowering conversations. Or it just, just strips away. Good human. 
Yeah, no, that's what it is. Yeah. When you strip away the ego, when you strip away this false self, it, you just become pure goodness. It's just pure openness and pure experience. Well, who defines what's good and bad? Exactly. No one. The ego does. Society does. Yeah. So, like, to me, good could be something completely different than you. Exactly. No, the cool thing, you know where I'm at right now? There's not one thing that's bad. Really? So I've gotten to the point where every experience, I absolutely love it for the experience. I was in a psych ward for two weeks. Oh, I bet that was great. It was great. No, I honestly loved it. Good, right? No, like this is the thing. So many people don't believe this, but I loved it. Yeah. It was a new experience. It's an experience that I never thought that I could have. This is a weird thing. It's like so many people are afraid to say stuff. They're afraid to be open and honest. But like these people, they're afraid to talk to girls and be their true selves. But that's only hindering them from yeah. getting girls. Yeah. Wouldn't you rather, don't you like, when it comes to a guy, would you rather him be crazy and honest or not honest and or and just normal? No, be crazy. Yeah. Be crazy. Exactly, because everyone's crazy on the inside. We're just not showing it. We're just yes. restricted. Why well, hide yourself? You know, like it's gonna come out later on. Is yeah. it like, it's a game of what you can hide and let out? Yeah. That. Everyone's just like an actor in today's society. You go out and talk to a girl, it's like you're an actor. Now you go and talk to your friend, you're like a different actor. Well, who's you? You, you match the person you're with. Why do that? Be yourself, open eyes. That's the thing. Well, then who even is yourself? I have gotten to the point, I'm not a person. I don't, I don't have a me. I can be whoever I want. I can talk to you just normal and be like a normal person, or I can be free and excited, or I can be, like, I can be anything at I mean, any time. I you're time. openly filming on the street, and that takes balls, man. Yeah, it does. it's dope. Let me get your number, cause you're dope. Then you wanna be real? You wanna be real? I don't really date black dudes, but you got big dick energy, so. I appreciate it, thank you. You know, the people on YouTube would just call it crazy. I have big dick energy, don't lie. The evidence of what? Of your research, like what's your conclusion? I experience. Needed? In fact, you shouldn't trust anything okay. but your own experience. Okay. All this weird stuff in the world isn't necessarily true. The only thing that's actually true is your experience. If you get some knowledge externally, you don't know if that's actually true. There's no way of knowing. But spirituality has gotten to a whole new level. It's all about how you let the outside world like affect your choices, I think, you know? I understand what you're saying. Oh yeah, exactly. Like, well, our outside world is simply just a manifestation of what we feel on the inside. Exactly. Oh, she might actually be good for this video. But yeah, basically I've been saying like, <laughs> When you talk to girls about this, this is the essence of everyone's soul. Yeah. It's covered up in this normal world by this weird thing called the ego. But everyone, all they want is to be spiritually enlightened. They want to be happy. They want to be truly happy. That's it. Everything that we do in life is just to get there. I understand. Yeah, yes. exactly. And so when you actually talk to girls on this deeper level, it attracts them because one, it's real and honest. All this weird fake game shit, like yeah. all these pickup lines, that's fake, right? And you Usually guys can see when you're, that. Like people are acting like on their egos without even realizing it. And yeah, you know, it's, it's, well, it's easy to see once you once you know like what's going on. It's on I autopilot. Understand. The ego is on it's autopilot, weird. and we need to like it's break through. It's crazy. It's weird. It's like everyone's a robot. They're not yeah. like conscious. Yeah. And so when a girl when a girl sees something like that, when they see consciousness. They see themselves because we all are all this one just greater consciousness. Like we all have that within us. And so it connects with them on a much deeper level and some crazy stuff can happen. Think about this, Jack. Think about this. Okay, think about this. I want you to imagine, I don't even know if I can say this on YouTube, the S-E-X word. Imagine, imagine when you guys normally have right? Not you two, but individually, or maybe you do, I don't know. But imagine when you normally do, there are all these insecurities, right? All these insecurities, yes, like, oh, am I doing this right? How is the guy doing? What if there was a point where you guys could both drop your egos? Let's be honest. And it was just complete, just a pure pleasure experience with no insecurities whatsoever. That's possible. It's a whole different experience. It is it's mind about blowing. Being vulnerable. Yeah. You're cool. Let me get your number, actually. Yeah, for sure. It might have to wait 40 days because I'm doing a 40 day fast. Yeah. Okay. Like you're actually fasting? For 40 days, yeah. Okay. I just was stressing for three days about my phone and didn't eat for three days, so that was kind of like a mini fast. Oh know? yeah, that's a long fast. Yeah. That's longer than most people. Yeah. How'd you I'm, feel on that fast? Honestly, good. And when I ate like clean food right after, like it's just, you keep that gut feeling going. Yeah, that's crazy. That's what a lot of people don't understand is that you feel good on fast. You feel good. It was nice to meet you. Yeah, it was nice to meet you. Keep the passion going. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. What do you think makes you you? What are the aspects of you that makes you you? Okay, I wouldn't be me without passions. Okay, passions? Yeah. What else? And like awareness of myself. Okay. 
because like I wouldn't know me if I didn't have like an outside awareness of me. That's very true. So the thing with the passions, have you always had the passions? Yeah, they change as I. Right. So if they if they change, if there's a part of you that changes, is it really you? What would you say that is? Well, something that would always be me. Yeah, exactly. What is that? What's that thing that's always you? The collective consciousness of me, or like. That's what it is. It's the awareness. It's the consciousness. I like yeah. you. What's up? I like you. Why do you like me? I don't know. Because you're me. I like these questions. I know. Why do you like these questions? Um. Because they're dope. It speaks to who you are on the most basic fundamental level. Yes. It's talking about stuff that everyone can relate to, that everyone wants to know about. What makes a bad experience a bad experience? If I'm ever constrained, if I'm in trouble, obviously if I'm in jail, then I can't live my life. I'm prevented from doing anything. Think of a movie, one of your like favorite movies, right? But where one of the characters goes to jail. Okay. So think of that movie, right? Now, instead of just watching the movie on a screen, what if you got to actually be in the movie? Like you got to witness it, like you got to actually be the person. Would that be dope, even if they went to jail? It'd still be fun, right? Yeah, if I was in a, a movie, It'd then definitely, different. yeah, because I'm there for the experience, not because I'm stuck there. There's something about the experience of a movie that makes it better than real life, even if the same thing, right? We could have the exact same thing happen to you in real life, but because you're in a movie, you somehow thought it was better. Uh, yeah, you're right. Isn't that weird? It is weird. I think the difference is, is that we take life really seriously because we think that it's all there is. A movie's different, right? We can go and do whatever we want in a movie because, well, there's life after the movie. But this life, we think that that's all there is, and so we take it really, really seriously. But what if you could get to a point where you found out that it's not all that there is? Like you knew for a fact that once this movie ends, it's just on to the next movie. It's just on to the next experience. Think of how much freer you could live your life. Yeah. You don't. But you probably don't think that's possible, right? I don't think of anything. I just live my moment. I'm happy with everything I experience. Are, are you happy with everything you experience? Well, you just told me bad experiences. Well, I said bad if you can be bad. I prefer others. Exactly. But it's still an experience. That's the difference. Why do we prefer experiences over others? Because in a movie, right? You're never going to skip a certain part to get to the end of the movie or the good parts of the movie because it's all part of the movie. It all makes the end of the movie incredible. When we just look at everything as pure experiences if it were a movie, life can get incredible. Just as if we were in one. It's all about your perception. Yeah. Crazy. I agree. I mean... I want to experience negative experiences too because they're part of life. They ignite certain emotions and everything is beautiful. And so even though they're quote unquote negative emotions, it's not, it, the suffering doesn't come with it. It's like beautiful. It's like watching a movie and you're sad, right? But that sadness comes from a different place. Like you enjoy being sad. Does that make sense? Cool, huh? You're dope. You're really positive. I should get your number. Yeah, I'm not from here though. No, that's cool. I'm only free for tonight and tomorrow because then I'm actually live streaming a 40 day fast. So. 40 what? A 40 day fast where I don't eat for 40 days. Aren't you gonna die? <laughs> I guess we'll see. What do you think happens when you die? I think that when you die, your spirit is embodied in something else. I didn't believe that every spirituality is actually praising the same God. Like, I actually yeah. think there's only one God. Like, it has to be. If there's one truth, it has to be all the same I think same it's God. all the same God. Now, what do you think of God as? Is it a being or is it like an essence or what? It's the essence that surrounds the earth. Yeah. What if I told you that? That God, that essence that you were talking about, what if that's what we actually are? What if that's what consciousness is? I believe that. I think we all actually have the same consciousness. It's like the love that every single person in this entire world has. Exactly. That's what it is. You just have to realize that love is the one thing that connects all of us. Well, exactly. That's the one thing. It's the universal consciousness. It's the love that is in you, it's in me. That's what we actually are. You'll find that you actually are that God, that consciousness, and you're just expressing it in this human form. Yeah. But when you really meditate and get deep, you can actually start feeling beyond that. And it's incredible. Yeah. If you realize that the love is for each other, that is what's gonna save the world. Because yeah. you have to love your fellow human in order to love yourself. Because that's the thing. On a deeper level, everyone is yourself. Everyone's the same thing. Yeah. The only part that we don't like, it's not that we don't like the human, the pure human within, we don't like the ego. We don't like the surface level yeah. stuff. That's what makes people evil. Because yeah. truly, deep down, everyone's this one consciousness, and it's ourselves, so we love it. Definitely. 
And so it's only the surface level ego, and so that's kind of the goal is to just shatter that, is to get rid of that ego. To get rid of that false self. And just have this pure universe of pure love and consciousness. Yes. You're so deep. I love it. Let me get your number. Thanks for asking for my number.